Good afternoon. So during this urban project, we will be looking at Stephanie Jung and Idris Khan. The difference between the two, uh, Stephanie Jung looks at colourful imagery and Idris Khan looks at black and white imagery. Here's an example I've done already. This is the street of Hong Kong. You can see I've taken one of my photos here of a downtown street scene of Hong Kong and I've just created multiple layers, made a mess of them and then just a little bit of a play with all of the settings. So we're just going to find an uh, image. So I've chosen a black and white image here. And this is going to represent Idris Khan. Not represent Idris Khan. I'm going to edit it in the style of Idris Khan. So as you can see just here, I'm just going to unlock this layer. And then I'm going to create multiple layers. You can stick with six layers if you want. And what you're going to do on each layer, you're just going to play with the opacity. Try and stick around maybe 20 to 40% somewhere around there. And then using the move tool. Oh no, don't use the move tool actually. When you've got the layer, just hold control and press T. And then you can just pull that one up like so. And then you can see, as soon as I move it, I've got this ghostly image in the background there of the buildings. And then whilst I'm on there, just press enter. And then from normal, you can see everything that you change. You can just kind of find whichever one you want. Okay. Quite like the lighting and the darker color options. So they just make it look a little bit more ghostly. So then once you finish with layer six, go on to layer five and then just work your way through. Hold control and press T and then just move it wherever you desire. is such a good exercise just to get you all uh, back into the uh, mood of editing again. So with some of them, you can enlarge them if you want. And obviously that will mess with the whole uh, for feel. This image here, I don't know if anyone's uh, seen this before, but this is Atlas, massive statue of Atlas just near the Rockefeller Center in New York. And obviously use a wide frame angle lens, laid on the floor, taking a photograph upwards. You can't even like move them right off if you wanted to, but then sometimes it doesn't really work because you end up with like lines everywhere. So I'm just going to put Atlas there, with that overlap there. Press enter so that you can see it's kind of cascading into the background. And then I'm just going to change that opacity to 30. And then you can play with that. If you find the right one for you. And this is what's really cool about like, there is no set way of doing it because obviously as a class, all of your work is going to be different. This one here. And there you go. So it probably takes you about three minutes. And there's a Idris Khan style edit of Atlas down near uh, St. Patrick's. And if you wanted to do the same in colour, 
you'd get the Stephanie Jung version. So I'm just going to do that one now. Stephanie Jung version, so that you can compare the two, and then you can create your uh, your favourite one. Okay. Don't forget once you've finished, put it into a into your portfolio so that you can explain yourself. Here's some examples that my students did today. These are all based on buildings around Bolton. And then that one was my my favourite one because it just looks so busy. So you can do street scenes, you can do inside buildings, you can do a bit of everything.